Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another video talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear Freights books. The official cover artwork for Fazbear Freights book number 9, The Puppet Carver, has been revealed. And also at the end of the video I want to talk about another book that's coming out later this year. So, we have a lot to go through. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, thanks for clicking on this video, it really does mean a lot, and let's hop into it. So this is the official cover for Fazbear Freights book number 9, The Puppet Carver, and let me just say, this is looking interesting. <laughs> right off the bat, it really reminds me of Goosebumps or, you know, Child's Play the Chucky Doll, uh, you know, things similar to that. It is worth noting that these three characters do resemble the original gang of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica just a little bit. Now I could be reading really far into this, but I think personally the character in the center is supposed to represent Freddy, the girl off to the left is Chica, and the boy off to the right is Bonnie. Now again, this could be me reading really far into it, but the girl on the left is the only girl character, and she does have yellow hair, just like Susie had yellow hair. Uh, she didn't have pigtails though, that was Elizabeth, that was Baby. Um, Susie had more curly hair, short curly hair. The character in the center really doesn't resemble Freddy a whole lot. Uh, I guess the brown pants is kind of similar, and also the, uh, the light brown hair. Um, but really that's it. And then the character off to the right has a red bow tie just like Bonnie in the first game. Now again, this could be me reading really far into it, but that's, that's just my first thoughts. Um, I can't really tell what they're standing in front of. It looks like some piping system, um, and there's also a glowing blue, like, turquoise substance off to the, to the right-hand side. Is that Remnant? I don't know, but it definitely, I'm sure it's gonna come up some, at some point in the story. So I'm gonna read over the summary for book number nine in case you haven't heard it before, um, and then we can try and tie together some, you know, clues about what this story could be about, which story it is, and also what, like, what these characters are. Five Nights at Freddy's fans won't want to miss this pulse-pounding collection of three novella-length uh, tales that will keep even the bravest FNAF player up at night. Okay, here we go. Consumed by failure, desperate to keep his kitty pizzeria from bankruptcy, Jack lets his animatronics tech pitch him a new invention that might just give him some perspective. Frustrated by an unfair arcade game, Colton throws himself into re-engineering the device at any cost. Molly's best friend goes missing on a tour of the Freddy's Pizza Factory. She knows what really happened, but her guilt isn't the only thing threatening to keep to eat her alive. Not keep her alive, Jesus, they want to they want to kill her, they want to eat her. In this ninth volume, FNAF creator Scott Cawthon spins uh, three sinister novella-length stories from different corners of his series' canon. Readers beware this collection of terrifying tales is enough to unsettle even the most hardened FNAF fans. So, I'm sure we all know this by now, God damn it, guys, we're in the ninth book into this collection of books, we all know that the first story is always the, um, the on the cover, and it is also the title of the book. So the story about Jack and him letting his animatronics tech pitch him a new invention that will give him new perspective is going to be about the puppet carver and these animatronic puppets. My guess is when it talks about a new perspective, right, his kitty pizzeria is failing, my guess is he'll try and come up with a invention, but in the process he will be, he will get a new perspective by becoming one of these puppets. Kind of similar to Lonely Freddy, again we're getting a lot of similarities between new stories and past stories, so I, I say this in every video talking about the Fazbear Freight books, but I hope it doesn't become repetitive. And also, we get a direct um, reference to Freddy's Pizzeria, right, Freddy's Pizza Factory in this book, so it wouldn't surprise me if this kitty pizzeria owned by Jack, which to be fair is a bit of a stretch, but Jack is the name of the orange guy, aka Henry, in Day Shift at Freddy's. <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously. Um, so, who knows, maybe this kitty pizzeria is some form of Freddy's location, uh, but we just don't know. So that's my guess, Jack will get a new perspective by becoming one of these puppets. Now I also want to end the video off by talking about some news that we've had for a little bit, but I, I just didn't cover because it, it really wasn't anything too big. But we are later on in the year, on November the 2nd, getting another um, entry in the Freddy Files lineup. Originally it was called Freddy Files The Ultimate Edition, but it has since been renamed to The Ultimate Guide 
for Five Nights at Freddy's. So whether or not this is yet another entry in the, you know, the Freddy Files collection, or if it's just gonna be a huge guide to everything, which might be a little bit difficult to do because you could argue that the Freddy Files are guides. I mean, I'm pretty sure they are, they are called the Ultimate Guidebook, right? The, um, the updated guidebook to the game, the guidebook to FNAF. So I'm not sure what this Ultimate Guide is going to be like if it is different from the Freddy Files. Maybe it'll actually walk us through how to play each of the games instead of saying, um, like what the Fez, uh, Freddy Files does by saying, here's a brief description of the characters, here's some theories about this game, here's like their, their path as they walk around the location. I don't know, maybe it'll be legitimately a guide and not like a, an information book, if that makes any sense. But again, this doesn't come out till November, so I'm sure we can expect some security breach in there, and since it, um, what was the last game in the updated Freddy Files? It might have been Pizza Sim. Oh no, it was Ultimate Custom Night. So hopefully in this Ultimate Guide, we will see some things about FNAF AOR, Security Breach, Help Wanted, maybe even Freddy in Space 2 if we're lucky. I doubt we'll see anything on the use and crowd control though, just being honest because that really wasn't a new game and I don't think it would have a whole lot of new info, unless it explains the memes in the game, which I doubt it'll do. So yeah, that's really all the news we have today. I just got done recording my FNAF Hot Takes video, which hopefully should be out very, very soon, probably tomorrow. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side.